INFJs and small talk. A tragedy. Um, as an INFJ, I fucking hate small talk. I have to interact with all of you every day. At I wake up in the morning and get my breakfast and talk to you in the morning. And go, mm, how are you feeling about your burger this morning? I'm like, okay, fine. Stone cold. Hello, how are you feeling about your lunch? Stone cold. I'm fine about it. Fuck you. I go to Wells Fargo to my bank. And I go, hello, sir. How was your experience with your, the servers and the teller today? Fuck you. On the inside. On the outside. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's how I am. 24-7. I don't want to be mean to you in fucking public, but you're saying bullshit to me. My introverted intuition says, Bullshit! Your extroversion says, oh, yeah, I need to fucking talk as much as I can. Stop talking. If you're not talking, you're not thinking. You're not thinking. And what do we need more in society than ever before? Thinking. Yes, we do. Um, there's too much emphasis on making that small talk. We often tell introverts, you need to open up your shell. You need to, uh, you know, you need to branch out more. I'm like, we're like, no, I'm keeping my shell. I told my friend, who's also an INFJ, very, very strong INFJ, um, we have this incredible gift inside of us. It's, it's, it's not here, it's here. And it's a treasure. We have to protect it. That's what we protect it so hard. This is this treasure on the inside that we really do have to protect. And it's worth protecting because it's very, very strong. And it can change people for the better. But that has nothing to do with Kim Kardashian. Like, how could it? So, like, what society says now is to be, you know, to be extroverted, to be a sensing type. Most people are extroverted and sensing type for the most time. And, um, there's a, there's a strong disconnect there, and it's hard. Hard. It's fucked to be an INFJ. But what you have to realize is that we have to be an example to other people. We have to be that strong, resolute, I am, this is my idea, but this is my idea because I thought about it. Forever and ever and ever. This is my idea because I thought of it so hard. I'm resolute with it. So you should, you should, everyone should respect our ideas because we didn't just like think about it once. We thought about it a million times. We didn't just go like, oh yeah, how did we think about that? We're not NFPs. NFPs like, like love every single idea and then they just stick to that. We think about an idea over and over and over and over and over. Like INTJs, as far as introverted intuition, like, mm, like we think about everything and like, like it's just so important. So, small talk. I struggle with this more than anything. This is what my biggest, biggest fear is: is walk into a room. I don't know one person. I, like, oh hi guys, like how are you? Like. I like I was in college at a job fair and the only reason why I didn't get a job after college is because I didn't want to talk to anyone at the job fair. That's a strong detriment, that's a strong hardship that I ch happened to me because I just simply didn't want to talk to someone. That's fucked up. So I did that and I went and like the problem is is I have to f fight that all the time. People want to small talk of small talk. And it's going to go, Oh, how is that? How is 
you know, I mean, I just want to talk about things that don't matter. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean that fucking Kim Kardashian should her ass? What do you mean that, like, Kobe Bryant can't play in the Lakers? What do you mean that, it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. To me, I'm thinking, like, this is how I think. Why won't humanity get along? Why won't? How can we achieve space? How can we achieve higher consciousness? How can we achieve um, the new ideas that will save the entire world? I mean, like, that's exactly the shit that I think of. And I'm like, this shit is stupid. Like, I have to talk about fucking temporal things while you're on. So, I don't think most extroverts are sensitive to that. We teach that introversion is a negative in our society. If you behave badly, go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. And that's my opposite thing. Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done as an introvert. Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. When you think about it, that's a religious kind of teaching. I think Jesus and the Buddha teach that. Ad nauseum, by the way. And the positive is people learn about themselves. Go sit in the corner and think about what you've done. And they go, hmm. I haven't been to this person. I shouldn't have said that to that person. I've been making a mistake. I might regret this decision. I might be upset with myself later. I shouldn't have done that. I should say sorry. And that makes the world a better place. Not this talk. Not this gossip. Not this bullshit. Self-reflection. And we don't have any of it. And in this day and age, we have criticism, judgment, Not a true understanding of why things are the way they are. But if we all took just a minute to look at ourselves, we could find the solution.